Hello everyone! Welcome back to another online edition of SFCAC Sunday School. I'm so happy that you could join us today. We will learn God's Word and have a simple activity that you could do together with your family. There will be one lesson for everyone. It is a blessing that we can still worship together in this time, growing in our faith and learning what God is teaching us, like how we can love Him and love each other. Let us start in a word of prayer. Dear God, we thank you for being our God. We praise you today because Jesus taught us how to serve one another. As we listen with joyful and thankful hearts, let us learn more about you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are learning about what Jesus did the week before he went to die on the cross. Today, we are going to learn what Jesus did after celebrating the feast of the Passover with his disciples. In John chapter 13, we learn that the night before Jesus died on the cross, he and his disciples went through all the tradition of the feast of the Passover, as each item reminded them of God's love and power. But Jesus did something that was very different. It was certainly not part of the Passover celebration. Jesus got up from the meal and took a towel and wrapped it around himself. Jesus doing this during the Passover would have been weird to the disciples the same way it would have been weird for you if no one exchanged present at Christmas time, or if your grandma served soup instead of turkey at Thanksgiving. Jesus was breaking the tradition. Next, he poured water into a basin. Jesus began to wash each of the disciples' feet, one by one, and dry them with the towel he had tied around his waist. This was a job only a servant would do. The disciples thought it was very inappropriate and they did not understand why Jesus was doing this. In fact, Peter spoke up and told Jesus that he didn't want him to wash his feet. But Jesus told Peter that if he didn't help him get clean, Peter could not be his friend. Jesus did not mean that Peter can only be his friend if he had clean feet. Jesus was trying to show his disciples that only he could clean their hearts, but the disciple did not understand. When Jesus finished washing each of the disciples' feet, he came back to the table to try to help them understand why he had done this. Jesus said that a servant is humble and knows he is not too good for any job. He told them that he made himself a servant of men when he left heaven to become a man. Even though he is greater than all men, Jesus wants the disciples to be willing to serve all men too. No one is unimportant to God's eyes. Jesus told them about something that was going to happen. Jesus knew he was going to die on the cross. He also knew one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, was going to betray him, give him to the people who want him to die. Judas was filled with pride which is exactly the opposite of what Jesus wants, a humble servant. Do you think the disciples would forget about the dirt being washed away from their feet? Maybe, but they would never forget who Jesus was and how very soon he would die on the cross and his blood would wash away their sin and ours. Jesus humbled himself and was a great example of a servant. The Feast of the Passover was an annual festival in which the Jewish were to travel to Jerusalem to worship at the temple. It was a time when the Jewish people were to remember how God had rescued them from slavery in Egypt. God sent a man named Moses, who we will learn more about next month, to tell the Pharaoh, the leader of Egypt, to let his people go. When Pharaoh wouldn't let the Israelite leave, God caused 10 plagues, really bad things, to happen to the people living in Egypt. The last and worst plague was the death of the eldest son in every single family. God told the Israelite to put the blood of a perfect lamb around the top and sides of the door so that death would pass over each of their house. God told the people to celebrate this event every year with a special meal called Passover. We will learn more about the Feast of the Passover in a few weeks. God made Jesus' death 
the day after the Passover on purpose. He wants the Jewish people to see that he was still taking care of them. God wants them to see that Jesus was just like the Passover lamb. Jesus was the only perfect lamb that could give life to everyone because he was pure and sinless. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 it says, Fixing your eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, he endured the cross and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. According to our verse, who example should we follow? Yes, Jesus' example. He showed us the ultimate act of service when he gave up his life on the cross for us. Death on a cross was a very painful and shameful way to die. Only the worst criminal was crucified, but Jesus endured the cross because by dying, Jesus made it possible for us to be with God forever in heaven, even though we have sinned. He humbled himself and experienced the pain and the shame on the cross just for us. What an amazing example Jesus is to us. Today, we learn Jesus serves. He not only served his disciples, but he also served us. How did Jesus serve his disciple? How can we follow his example in serving others? We often say we will serve others, but many times we let opportunities go by. We make excuses, we forget, or we put it off. Let's talk about some ways we can follow Jesus' example in our lives. This is where you will need your activity sheet which is in the description box below. Alright, let us begin. Look around for someone to serve. Don't just say you care for someone, but instead show them. Check your attitude. Doing something good with a bad attitude doesn't do much good. So when you realize you have a bad or negative attitude about serving someone, focus on the person you are helping, not the actual job. Find a way to serve that person. Meet a need. Put yourself in another person's place and ask yourself what would help you in that situation. Ask God to help you be more aware of ways you can serve those around you. Your next step is to follow Jesus' example and find ways to serve others. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Sunday's lesson. Even though we cannot be together at this time, we can still grow our faith and worship our God. Thank you for joining me today. Make it a great week and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!